Okay, this video is going to go over a little bit of a regression topic. In fact, it's gonna go over linear regression and the correlation coefficient. So, um, the first thing you're going to do is blindly follow my instructions. And the reason why is because when you reset your calculator, as we do before tests and as you will do before your exam, um, you have to actually reset it back to memory erased mode, which adjusts your settings. So your settings are indicated up here, and I did a little video guiding you through them. Uh, but go ahead and press the mode button, and then I'll pull up your settings. These are all the standard ones. So I've just reset my calculator. Um, I'll show you again. Second function memory 712. It's just reset. So it's cleared. So I'm going to go to mode, and I'm going to scroll all the way down to where it says stat diagnostics. Now, I want to choose stat diagnostics on, and that should be the first thing you do on your calculators when you start a stats test um, or when you start the exam. All right, now we'll go second function quit to get out of this, and we've got our stat diagnostics on. So remember, regression is simply looking for some sort of relationship between these variables and these variables. Now, I speculate as X increases, so does Y, and I even speculate that it looks like it's going up by, I don't know, two or something because as we go well it's going up by a little bit maybe it's even going up linearly well we can examine that more closely using correlation and linear regression now what we'll do is we'll enter in these elements into a pair of lists so in x list i'll enter in l1 one two three four five six seven eight and in l2 i'll enter in my other elements Now, it's at this point that it's a good idea to just double check that your data matches and mine does. Excellent. Now, um, before we go and do any stats on this, we could always check to see if the stat plot shows some sort of relationship. So if I wanted to plot X values against Y values, I could go second function Y equals for stat plot. I'm going to turn a plot on and I think I'm going to do just a scatter plot of L1 and L2. Now remember, you're going to want to adjust your zoom so that you're dealing with zoom stat, so nine. And hey, would you look at that? It looks like there's probably some sort of linear trend occurring here. Great. Now, um, I wanna quantify that linear trend. I wanna know A, what's the equation of the linear regression? So if there is a straight line that guides this, I wanna know it. And I also wanna know kind of how strong it is. So what is the correlation coefficient? The way I'll find that is I'll go stat over to calc and I'll scroll down to linear regression. Now there's two linear regressions, a plus bx and ax plus b. I always pick the first one. Okay, my x list is L1 and I've typed that. My y list is L2, good. I don't have a frequency list, though maybe you would have like a bunch of times that this 15 at one was observed, who knows. Now under store reg equation, that's saying store the regression equation. So it's going to give you values of A and B that would be the slope and Y intercept of the linear uh, relationship between X and Y. I wanna store that somewhere. I can store it in an equation by going alpha, trace, which brings up all of my y1, y2, and all these values that I can graph later. So I'm just going to store it in y1. And then I'm going to press calculate. Now, it'll do its calculation and it'll spit off a number of things. So it says to me that a, my slope, is around 2.523. My y-intercept is around 11.64. It tells me that these are very closely linearly related. It's, a, it's very close to one. Remember, as your R value gets to zero, there's no relationship. As your R value gets to negative one, there's a perfect negative relationship. And as your R value gets to positive one, there's a perfect positive relationship. It's not that an increase of one means an increase of another. It means that an increase of one means exactly A times the increase of the other. So this is a really good slope, which means when I draw my line of best fit, it's going to show up quite nicely. 
Now, to get my line of best fit to show up quite nicely, remember I stored it in Y1. So, uh, by the way, on tests, so often people forget to just write down these numbers before pressing anything else. If you press any other button, all this stuff vanishes. So you're gonna wanna write down A and B at least to three decimal places, and you're also gonna wanna write down your R value at least to four decimal places. So, uh, I'll press Y equals, and you'll see my A and B is automatically stored there with that equation. I'll go ahead and I'll press graph and you'll see my line of best fit. Oh, what an excellent line of best fit it is coming across and through. And so that is how I can regress with my calculator and I can get all of my values of my stats and I can save my line of best fit. I hope you enjoyed it.